This is the big module. We're now implementing the NIST CSF, but we want to leverage that with the COBIT framework. So first, let's take a look at how these two frameworks line up with each other. What you see on top here, I have the NIST CSF 1.1, the implementation steps. I'm going to compare that to the COBIT implementation steps. One additional thing I added here was a COBIT 2019 design guide steps. If you want to find out more information about the design guide and how that links to COBIT, go out and take a look at our COBIT design factors course out here on the e-learning site. First on the left-hand side, we see the NIST CSF 1.1 steps. There are nine steps here. It starts with prioritize and scope. It goes all the way down to CSF lifecycle management. In COVID 2019, we saw this earlier. There are seven steps. It starts with what are the drivers, all the way down to how do we keep the momentum going. This was that wheel that we saw in a previous module. And then finally, I have the COVID 2019 design guide steps. I really like how this merges in very nicely with the COVID 2019 implementation steps. And it's really designed to help you create that tailored governance system for your organization. So I suggest you take a look at that as well. Now let's take a look at each one of these steps and what you can expect. First step on the NIST CSF, we're going to prioritize and scope. With COVID implementation, we determine where the drivers and with the design guide understanding enterprise context and strategy. The purpose here is to obtain an understanding of the organizational governance approach to inform risk assessment activities and prioritize security activity. We're setting a baseline and some key tasks that we see here. What I've done is I've broken these out into key tasks from each of the frameworks we have. This will also be a download for you in the course downloads.